The peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. It's another day, a brand new day. The day the Lord has set aside to honor, to favor us. Ebushan fo ewura te asum jay and kamunina. Mejidi sobia huye boja edi mwefu shani techeramada bojima. Ewura de na ye. We are alive by mercy, not by merit. It is by the grace of God. It's about the favor of God. The unwavering graces and the power of the Holy Spirit has brought us this far. Is there not a cause? There is a cause why we are alive. We are alive to honor God. We are alive to bless God. We are alive to do the will of God and to accomplish every task the Lord has entrusted in our care. Yet in coma, they would have fraying. So, you may end it, Shuma. Or the Bibia say, and so, or the Bibia say, and so, God has entrusted something in our hands. We are stewards of whatever God has entrusted in our care. May we be a blessing. It's a load that is over buying our kayo. Or of anything, when it's say, Who can endure the day? Malachi 3, 1 to 5. Who can endure the day? A dark as in a bow. Why the bitch be a gin and no? Why? Who can endure? A day is coming. And the Bible says, His reckoning will be more drastic than you expect. His reckoning will be more drastic than you expect. Malachi chapter 3. You see, but who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller soap. God gives Malachi two pictures of what is coming. It's going to look like. Nyakuponda picha mienubi edichere Malachi. Se emrene ba, emrene ba, eyeja. Refiner's fire in a fuller soap. In other words, what is coming is not just a quick touch up. As one preacher put it, God does not say that the covenant messenger is like a, a swifter, a swifter, mop, and a bottle of freebies. The coming of the Lord of the covenant to his temple will be a, a drastic cleansing. It will be a drastic cleansing. That day will be a drastic cleansing where the Lord will cleanse his belong, he will cleanse his children. They didn't need to be polished a bit or remove a little tarnish. They needed to be thrown into a crucible. People of God. So the arrival of the Lord of the covenant will be a drastic affair. It will be a drastic affair. It's a word to you who desire the day of the Lord. Why will you have the day of the Lord? It is darkness and not light. As if a man fled from a lion and bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand against the wall and the serpent bite him. We see in Jesus' first advent. Every shampoo. Men pay bonus say, Embre bay, Embre be ba. Maybe but let's seek the Lord and serve the Lord. Because a day is coming. Who can endure? Who can stand on that day? I pray that the Lord will help us. I pray that you and I will live a life that will please the Lord. We pray that God will help us. A time is coming. Please, let us prepare. A day is coming. A day is coming. He said, it is darkness, not light. Our works will pass through fire. Our works, whatever we do on this earth will pass through. It will be tested by fire. I pray that God will help us. I pray that the Spirit of God will help us. I pray that the anointing of God will help us to endure. May God help us to endure. May God help us to endure. Oh, God help us. His reckoning will be more drastic than you expect. It will be more drastic. It will be more drastic. We should flee fornication. We should flee worldly things. 
and let the Lord Jesus Christ be ahead of us. May God bless us. The trumpet will sound. God help us to endure. Help us, Lord. Help us. Grant our grace to stand to the end. To endure to the end. With your power and your grace. May God bless you and keep you. I pray that today will be a special day. Examine our life. Let's examine our lives. Let's assess ourselves if we are still in the faith. Because a day is coming. May God bless us. God order our steps. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm Reverend Foster Kofi. I'm Prophet Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Minister in charge of Revival and Resurrection Congregation. Peace and life. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.